in March, I ordered three auto parts from rockauto.com. In the meantime, I was delayed by a mechanic and by a stay in the <clears throat> COVID isolation ward at my local hospital. Once I was released and felt well enough to handle the problem, I contacted Rock Auto and they, I was told by them I could not return the parts even though they were already in the boxes and had never been taken out. I asked them to contact me, but with no response. Well, when I ordered Rock Auto, it was at the, really at the behest of my son who had a, at that time, it was a 2003 uh, Buick Century. And he ordered, I think three, there were three different parts. One was a radiator and um, there were two other parts, okay? And he ordered them because he thought, well, you know, this is what it needs. And uh, even, and so after I ordered the parts for him, and after that, he was driving the car and he blew a, I blew a head gasket on it, which made the car uh, of no value, at least uh, in the condition it was in. In the meantime, I had received the parts in and I told my son, would you be interested in having a mechanic look at this to verify that the part that the that the head gasket is blowing and that the car is pretty much worthless yes he said so we took it over to the mechanics <clears throat> he took a little while to look at it maybe a week and uh finally he he did look at it and um he said well you know, it's not going to do any good to have these parts put on here. And because, you know, unless you have the head gasket repaired and you might, you might as well just get a new car is what he told me. And I said, okay, well, I'll, I'll let, let me see what I can do about sending these back. In the meantime, I received a COVID-19 positive uh, test result. And um, I had to uh, enter the hospital in a COVID pneumonia um, diagnosis, but it was in a, it was in, I call it an isolation ward where they don't let anybody in, except if they wear a hazmat suit, you know, you kind of feel funny about that, but that was for, that was for six days. <clears throat> and you can tell I'm still cut, recovering from the pneumonia part. Um, but at any rate, um, after I got out, then I uh, contacted Rock Auto and they said, well, too bad because the parts are now beyond the return, uh, which, you know, beyond the return uh, diet, wherever they designated that return to be from, from this date to this date, it was not in that date. Okay. Now I said, the parts have never been opened. They're in the boxes. Why cannot, why cannot I return them? They said, because it's not within this date to this date. We're sorry about that. And, and I said, could I, is there a phone number I could talk to somebody to escalate the problem? No, we don't have that option because we are, it'll cost us a lot of money if we put a person behind a phone and we're operating at a very high profit margin <laughs> with just what we're doing and we're not going to spend any more money. Okay. Well, so then I said, I'm not happy with you guys. Probably won't repeat business there. Um, uh, they're very, um, uh, one, I'm like once they sell you the product, they almost disappear into the background. And I don't think that's a, a good way to, to do it. And maybe we, maybe within their, you know, their period of you bought it here, you've got up to here to return it. But I had some extenuating circumstances I thought were very valid and they should listen to me. But there was no one to talk to and no one to listen to me. And that's my story. I think because if anybody gets in a situation where they've got some parts they've never even opened up and would like to return them, that I believe the company should at least provide a partial refund. Even if they gave me 50 percent of what I paid, I thought that would be fair. But to say no way, no how. And 
not provide me a voice uh, with the situation that I had, especially the hospitalization. I thought it was very, yeah, I don't know, very corporate of them. Well, I would like the company to contact me and say, you know, are the parts, have they been taken out of the box? Yes or no? I would tell them, no, they haven't been. And then I would be glad to pay for the shipping to get them back to them. But they're not even going that point with me at all because it's beyond their um, this designated return period. I think if, if there is a um, reasonable uh, explanation for why you couldn't get it back within their time frame, they should reach out to that person. And if the parts are still in the box and have not been even used or taken out, uh, there should be some sort of a offer made from the company to the consumer.